Do you experience some neck pain after doing some ab workout? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll be demonstrating some simple Pilates workout, great for beginners without straining your neck and how to perform them properly with good form and proper breathwork. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, most of my patients with weak core, they started using their neck, using the deep neck flexors, flexing it if they're trying to do some ab curls. And you can really engage your abs and your deeper core muscles without pulling your neck. And you'll be surprised with proper breath work and really mind-body awareness, pulling your navel towards your spine with breath work. This video is requested by one of my subscribers and patron supporter, Nancy Lucy. Thank you for your support on my channel. And this is your request because you're suffering from neck pain when you do your ab workout and you are an absolute beginner. So this video is perfect for you. And for any of my subscribers right now, you can still join me even if you're advanced because it's important to really connect with your core. And there's an evidence-based science when you really brace your core muscles, it's going to help your neck and back if you're suffering from back pain. So let's start lying on your back. Roll down slow and steady with your knees bent. Let's start with connecting with your core. Place your hands on your abdominal muscles and start with deep breathing. As you inhale, I want you to raise your belly up. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, squeeze your core in. Pulling your navel to your spine. Let's warm up our engine by doing our breath work, the powerhouse of our body. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, breathe out through your mouth. Two more. Inhale, belly rise. Keeping your spine in neutral, you can check it by placing one hand at the small of your back. That's a small space there. And breathe out. You can feel your transverse abdomen is pulling in and as you pull your navel to your spine last breath inhale through your nose belly rise exhale pull it in well done let's start with tabletop bend your knee to your chest keeping that tabletop and keeping that small space as you breathe in exhale down as you breathe out, you pull your navel to your spine. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale down. Left and right, alternating. Inhale. Exhale. Squeezing your core in as you inhale. Belly rise. Exhale as you squeeze in. Switch again to the left side. Belly rise. Squeeze in as you go down right and left inhale exhale down two more keep those core muscles engaged last set breathe in belly rise exhale down inhale exhale well done now we're going to progress with hip abduction tabletop again Exhale, open to the side, keeping your pelvis level. If you have a cup of coffee, you don't want to spill it to the right as you lower your knee down to the side. Open as much as you can. Belly rise. Exhale back to the center as you go down and pull your navel to your spine. Switch again to the left. Belly rise. Exhale to the side. Inhale. Exhale down. One breath, one motion. Inhale. Exhale to the side, squeeze your core in, inhale back center, belly rise, exhale down, switch again to the left, belly rise, exhale to the side, inhale, belly rise, exhale down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, inhale, 
exhale to the side, back center, and down. Well done. Now we are progressing. You can place both hands on your lower abs to really feel your lower abs muscles as you lift both knees to your chest to tabletop with your knees bent to 90, belly rise, feel it well, and exhale, tap one foot at a time. So I'm starting with my right foot and breathe out. Squeeze your core in as you gently tap your toes. Inhale back to double tabletop, both knees 90 degrees, and then switch to the left. Exhale down, squeeze your core in, belly button to your spine. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, switch to the right. Back to the center. Inhale, exhale to the left. We have seven more. Exhale as you tap. Inhale as you go up. Five more. Four more. Squeeze your core in. Three more. Two more. Last one, my friends. Well done. Keeping that double table up. Now, we're progressing by tapping both feet now. Just your toes down to the mat as you breathe out. Squeeze your core in, engage. Inhale back to the center. Double tabletop. Exhale, tap down. Inhale up. Tap down. Inhale up. Tap down. Brace. Abdominal bracing. Without hurting your neck, without pulling your head up off the mat, you're engaging your core. This is also great for anyone with umbilical hernia or diastasis recti. Two more. Last one. And back to double tabletop. Now from this position, you feel a lot of burn now on your core. We're gonna open your knees out to a butterfly stretch, keeping that double tabletop position. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, back center. Inhale, open. Feel that lovely stretch. Exhale, center. Knees together, feet together. Inhale as you open your feet apart. Belly rise. Exhale, pull your navel to your spine as you pull your knees and feet together. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Feel that core engage, navel to your spine, belly breath as you open your knees apart. Center again as you breathe out. Four more. Three. Two. And one. We are progressing by doing a gentle knees trunk rotation side to side. Place your hands on your side for support or you can open up to the side or on your hips, whatever your level of your core strength. And we're gonna roll, lower both knees to the side. Inhale as you roll to the side as much as you can. Exhale back center, 45 degree angle. Inhale to the other side. So you're doing a little bit obliques without straining your neck. Exhale as you go back center. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale center. Inhale, slow and steady. Just a little bit lifting off your hips, your buttocks off the mat, but not over arching. Try to core engage belly button to your spine. 
Feel that mind-body awareness stores your abdominal muscles, your lower abs, your transverse abdominis. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the burn on your obliques and your lower abs. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Slow and steady. Last set. To the right first. And last one to the left. We are progressing by, by extending your legs. So we're going to start to the right. Inhale. And then once you reach the 45 degree angle, extend your knees. Exhale. Inhale back to bend. And then exhale back center. Now switch to the left. Inhale. 45 degrees. Exhale. Extend as much as you can to 45 degrees. Inhale, bend, exhale, center. Switch to the right. Inhale, exhale, extend. Feet together, heels together. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Switch to the right. Extend. Inhale, exhale, center. Breathe in, breathe out, extend, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, switch to the left, bend your knees, extend, inhale, exhale, last set, to the right, Exhale, extend. Inhale. Exhale. Last one to the left. Exhale, extend. Inhale. And down. Whew. That was beautiful. Lower abs and core. Okay, my friends. We'll extend your right knee, keeping your left knee bent to protect your back and your neck. We're going to do some straight leg raise. We're going to slowly lift your foot up with your toes pointing to the heavens keeping your knee straight as much as you can core engage inhale and then dorsiflex which is pointing your toes towards you before slowly lowering it down to the mat as you breathe out slow and steady inhale tippy toes away lift toes pointing to the heavens dorsiflex and then exhale down inhale Lift, exhale, down. Five more. Breathe in, force flex, breathe out. Four more. Feels a good stretch. And your hip flexors, engagement. Two more. Last one. And down. And now lift up again. And this time with your toes, keep it pointing to the heavens. Lock your knee. We'll do small circle like a size of a small dish. Clockwise. One breath, one circle. Slow and steady. The slower, the better. Mind, body awareness. Keeping your core engaged. Navel towards your spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse circles. Inhale, exhale. Squeezing your core in. Small circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then bend your knee, lower your foot down. And this time, we'll extend your left leg. Toes pointing away. We'll do straight leg raise up. 
inhale as you lift toes pointing to the heavens lock your knee as much as you can and then exhale dorsiflex and slowly lower it down and breathe out inhale as you lift exhale down squeezing your core in as hard as you can mind body awareness try not to use momentum try to really connect with your core inhale as you lift exhale as you go down four tighten your core muscles navel to your spine three two and one now we're gonna lift your foot up toes pointing to the heavens lock your knee small circle like a size of a small dish try not to rock your hip try to do it slow and steady breathe in breathe out tighten navel to your spine three two and one and then reverse circles ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one well done now we are progressing by lifting both legs up to the heavens with your knees lock toes pointing to the heavens plantar flex and then let go of your hands place it on your side you're going to feel your abdominal muscles your core engage and we'll do small circle both feet making circles like a size of a small dish inhale exhale eight slow and steady seven six five four three keep your knees locked if you can't lock it that's fine two and one and then reverse circles ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and now we're cooling down with some gentle stretches place your hands facing up to the heavens elbows level to your shoulder we're going to do some trunk rotation lower both knees to one side to stretch your abdominal muscles lower both knees to the side as you inhale exhale and now switch to the other side both knees to the left and feel that love stretch on your abdominal muscles inhale exhale inhale exhale now hug your knees to your chest rock side to side you guys did amazing today what a lovely abdominal core workout great for those who needed some deep core activation without straining their neck without repetition that could strain your joints your hips your shoulders and it's not a lot of impact on your spine and that's it i'm hoping you enjoyed my lovely core abdominal workout without straining your neck if you love this video and want to learn more about pilates yoga physical therapy health and wellness please subscribe to my channel ring the bell so you won't miss anything like and share this video every like you give to my channel you are supporting me and i'll be reopening my back master class for spring 2023 if you're interested click the link on the description below be part of my early bird wait list for a first come first serve basis if you want to regain life without back pain to have a stronger core and improve your overall posture and i also have another course that i'm making the revived pelvic floor health great for those postpartum or anyone who has diastasis recti umbilical hernia and you need to strengthen your core safely and effectively click the link on the description below as well if you have any video requests leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to answer 
and give you your video request for any of my future videos in this lovely channel. If you're suffering from neck pain and you want to fix it safely and effectively, you can watch this video over here. And if you're suffering from occipital neuralgia that causes migraines and headaches, watch this video over here. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye!